guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons About, and in this video I want to show you an alternative to Games Workshop's terrible flying stands. I have these Primaris suppressors to build, and they are great, but I will not be using the ugly, fragile, terrible, awful, glossy flying stands. I will be building up material on the bases to support them. As you can see, this flying stand is the worst. The first thing I did was I took out some pine bark nuggets. I found some pieces that gave me the height I was after. I positioned my fellows like they were landing on or jumping off of these rocks. Once I had my pieces, I took out some hot glue and glued them to the base, checking often to see if they were at the correct angle. I used a lot of glue to make sure that the wood was secure. Then it was time to attach my boys. I took out a standard paper clip and cut it into straight lengths. Then I took out a drill bit the same size. I put this into my pin vise and to help me center my drilling, I took out a hobby knife and poked a hole and then spun the blade to make a nice round dent for the drill bit to sit in while I drilled a hole. I inserted a paper clip into my hole and then he was ready to attach. I measured him up against the pine nugget and cut off the excess paper clip. Then I lined him up so I knew where the hole needed to go and the angle then when I was sure I drilled it. Then I attached him using an obscene amount of super glue, way more than you'll think you'll need. The wood is very porous and you might have to go back and add more. Then it was time to finish off the bottoms. I took out one of my favorite supplies, Crayola Model Magic Soft Squishy Modeling Material and got to work. I used super glue to stick down blobs of the foam clay. This will help form the earth around the wood chips and make it look less like a wood chip. Then I took a piece of cork and pushed it into the clay to get a texture. It doesn't hold texture perfectly, but it gets the job done. Now for some sand. I poured out a drop of wood glue and used an old damp brush to spread it around. Then I took some small pebbles and sprinkled them around sparingly. Then to finish it off, some fine grain sand. And there you have three lovely scenic bases, as opposed to three weirdly curved Lego lightsabers sticking out of their butts. We make tutorials like these every single week, and if you find them helpful, you might consider supporting us over on Patreon. Over there, you'll gain access to some behind the scenes, hobby hangouts, terrain STLs, and more exclusive content. Now that you have some interesting rock formations, a cool color scheme might be to follow this tutorial, Purple Planet Base. Find this basing video and lots more like it on our basing playlist where you'll find tons of unique and interesting bases. But that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.